We have trainer Johan Janssen van Vieren joining us to chat about his runners on Saturday, the 16th of March at Turpentine Standside Track. Johan, you start in race three. It's a graduation plate over the mile. You've got Presley with Gavin aboard drawn five. Yeah, Vix. Um, normally in these plate races, there's one or two that stand out at the weights. Um, if you go through this field very carefully, it's very, very compact. Um, he's got to find a length um, with one or two others in the weights, but some of them do come from layoffs, etc. He's looking good at home. Um, I always thought he's a top horse. It's definitely going to stay 2,000 or maybe even more. And now all of a sudden, I'm not 100% sure anymore. Um, that last run, things didn't work out for us from an from an average draw. We ended up at the back of the field, and it was a slow run race. Didn't get time to make it up. Um, so it's just for Gavin to get back on him, back um, to a mile, just to see exactly where we are. Um, but he's a top horse. You've got to add in all your play. Um, he's a nice horse. I've said it many, many times before. He is maturing. He's starting to look like a racehorse. Um, Gavin back on from a decent draw and his work being solid at home, I think he's got to be a competitive runner here. Then in race four, it's a pinnacle stakes over the 1400 metres. You've got Bingwa, drawn 11, but ran a nice third last start. Um, Vix, yeah. Um, I don't know, he's just, he's always working well, he's always looking fantastic. Um, he hasn't exactly been running the races we've been hoping for him to run the last couple of times. Um, he's getting a bit old. I'm hoping G Gavin can get the best out of him. Gavin in the past has gotten very, very good runs out of him. Um, he's come down a couple of points in the weights, which puts him back um, at the 58 level in the pinnacle stakes. So we're hoping that two kilograms helps him a length or a, or a little bit more. Um, but yeah, listen, it's an open field, it's competitive. Um, we're just hoping for a forward run because he is looking good and he's been working well, but he has been for a while um, and not really taking it to the track. So hard to be confident in this race. Um, it's competitive. We're just hoping for the best. Then in race six, it's a graduation plate over the 1160. You've got Sunshine Day and Chasing Happiness. Yeah, Vix, when I look at the weight structure for this, um, Elegant Ice and Ready to Charge, obviously two that stand out at the weights and that will definitely be the two horses to beat. Um, my two fillies both coming from short, small, short breaks, so it's just a place for me to start off with, use the run as a gallop um, to see where we are and we'll go forward from here. I would think it would be very hard to win, um, to get the win from either one of them at the weights. Um, so probably traffic and Cortez. Then in race eight, it's a MR96 handicap over the 1,000 meters. You've got two runners, Cosmic Star and Rainbow Reward. Yeah, two smart horses on their day. Um, Rainbow, uh, Cosmic Star probably my best on the day. Um, competitive race, so I wouldn't say he's a 10 out of 10 bet, but um, he's working really well. He's a very consistent horse. Every now and then he fluffs his lines at the start and costs himself the race, um, which obviously you cannot afford to do in this type of company. But um, if he does, doesn't do that, I think he's going to be a massive runner. He's doing good at home. Rainbow Reward, um, second run after a layoff. <clears throat> he's got problems, he's got niggles, you've got to watch him go down. But Diego got on with him really well last time, and um, so I decided to keep Diego on him. For this run, on his day, he's a horse that, are, that is super talented. Um, but yeah, like I said, you've got to watch him go down. Obviously, you've got to add him in the pick six because you've got to take your, your bets before you can watch them go down. Um, I do prefer Cosmic Star over the two, uh, mainly because he's a more consistent horse. Um, Ability-wise, in a handicap, Rainbow Reward can run him down if, if things doesn't go his way, but... Um, yeah, Cosmic Star probably my best on a day. Then in race nine, it's an MR80 handicap over the 1,000 metres. You've got two runners again, um, COVID Operator and Jaziri. Yeah, COVID Operator just doesn't seem to get the right draw. Every time we're up the straight, we draw low, and every time we nominate around a bend, we draw big. Um, but I'm sure everybody's aware now that we teaching him to be our next lead pony when, when the old boy Yerman retires, but he's been getting a little bit too fresh at home, COVID Operator, and... Um, I just feel like I have to get a run into him. He's carrying a lot of weight um, within himself, not in the actual computer form weights. Um, he's a bit big and he might just need it slightly. Um, but there does seem to be a lot of speed here. And if we can get a nice pull through, um, he can run into the money for us. He, he, he's the type of horse that always seems to try his hardest when it's in race time. And he's not, no superstars here. So without being confident at all, I do believe he's going to run a good race just because he's that type of horse. 
And then just Siri, um, she's a bit in and out at home, this filly. When she works, some days she works really, really well, and then other days she'll put some up some really average work. She's obviously just a filly that doesn't take a lot, and you've got to space her gallops nicely bet between each other, give her a bit of time. Um, she's drawn big. Um, just looks like a tough field for this type of filly carrying 60. She's not a big filly, but at the same time, we have to start somewhere. She's only at four runs, four or five runs, and she's already three and a half years old. We, we're getting a bit behind the, behind the game line with this filly. So um, I would say larger, larger pick sixes because she has run better races in the past on race day than she does show me at home. Thank you so much for your time, yeah. Pleasure. And thank you so much for tuning in and watching Track Talk.